promote in ladies and gentlemen. Uh, since the art help organize give me opportunity to introduce our work on the super radiate solid of the lead border atoms in a cavity. I'm Wu Ming Liu, come from the Institute of Physics, Chinese Academy of Science. You know, the super radiate solid means is a new quantum states. This quantum states is a combination of super radiate and the lead border solid states. It's a new states. Firstly, I want to thank the professor uh, Sabastin Edit, An Chun Ji, and Qin Sun, and uh, Wen Yu Zheng Wen, and uh, the Xue Feng Zhang. Yeah. Here, uh, firstly, I give the basic introduction on the lead border atoms, then we discuss the two fault transition, then we discuss the new, the, the phase, quantum phase, sub-radiate phase, lead border solid states, then we combination the new phase, it's a super-radiate solid, and then we want to find the real experiment system. Finally, we give the basic uh, summary. What's the lead border atoms? You know, usually we can use the principal quantum number describe the energy of atoms. Uh, the lower state is ground states. If the n principal quantum number is large as 30, it's a high excited states. It's atoms, it's uh, lead border atoms, lead border atoms. You know, this, this figure comes from VT. Uh, for the lithium atoms, we can consider the different uh, ob orbital momentum, the S, P, and uh, D. You know, this is ground states. This is the first ionization energy. The lead border in the center states is very uh, higher, and uh, you know, the N larger 30. It's very close to the higher ionization uh, energy. We want to, uh, we want to know the uh, energy scale uh, for the lead border atoms. You know, <clears throat> usually we, we can use the lead border uh, constant uh, to uh, control uh, the energy. For the lead border atoms, we can use the R lead border. In this case, the dipole momentum is scales N star. N star. Then it's, uh, you know, they can get the different. For example, for the one verse, it's uh, N star 11, 11 scale, 11 scale. Now we discuss our system. Our system is uh, first thing we want to consider the cavity. This cavity flow increase is a uh, uh, omega c. Then we trap in the lattice in the cavity. The lattice means says we can find the uh, lead border solid. Last thing we want to trap the atoms. Atoms. The atoms is a lead border. Atoms. The lead border atoms, you know, usually the basic is the three level atoms. This are ground states. This energy is EQ, EG. This are in the metal states, P. Here is the excited states. We can use the omega C turning uh, and the delta P and uh, get the transition between the ground states to the in the metal states. We can also use omega L and delta uh, E uh, turning get to the transition between the intermediated states and the excited states. Here the energy is EG, EP, and uh, EE. EG, EP, and EE. Firstly, we discuss the photo transition. Photo transition, you know, this is a three-level system. 
and we can use the photo transition uh, reduced to the completed three level system to the two level system. If we choose the ground state's energy equal to zero, in this case, we can get the intermediate uh, state's energy, excited state's energy, and the cavity energy. Then we want to consider the coupling uh, between the intermediate states and the ground states, and the intermediate states and the excited states. Here, it's uh, G0, and the omega is uh, uh, coupling parameter. Now, we use the unitary station transformation. In this case, we can get the uh, new infinitive Hamilton. Here, we keep the four terms. It's like the principal Hamilton. Here, just change the sum parameter. Just a parameter. Here, we introduce the new uh, parameter is delta. Delta is the total turning parameter. Here, the same. Then we can, we can choose uh, the larger deterring from the intermediate states in this case, and we can get this Hamilton. You know, we reduce to the four terms, uh, five terms to the two terms. That says we use the uh, to fault transition. Then we choose the new rotation frame. We can get the finally uh, infinitive two level, it's not a three level, two level, two level atom cavity uh, Hamilton. In here, we just consider the cavity kinetic energy and the exciter, lead border, exciter energy, state's energy, and the coupling between the uh, ground states to the lead border in the set states. We use the two-fold transition process reduce to the three-level completed uh, energy to the uh, infinitive two-level uh, atom in the cavity Hamilton. This is the first. Uh, you know, this system, it's uh, it's complicated. First thing we want to consider the three level ground states, the intermediate states, and the excited states. Then we want to consider the lattice. This lattice trap the lead border atoms. Then we want to plus the cavity. It's a three part, three part. For this system, the total energy, Hamilton, you know, here it's a cavity energy. Here is the atom, you know, now is atom is not the three level, just a two level, two level. Here is the excited states and uh, the ground states. Here is the coupling between the atoms and the cavity. Here is the interaction between the atoms, 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 atoms. You know, this is uh, First level, we can choose the BI. This is the second level, BG. This is a non rigid integration. The last term, it's a, a total number of excitation. This Hamilton uh, describes uh, the total uh, system cutting the uh, lead border atoms and uh, lattice and the cavity. Uh, cavity. Now we discuss the special case. Firstly, we, cho uh, first thing we choose the atom atom coupling equal to zero. You know, in here, uh, it's V. V is interaction between the atoms. First thing we choose the V equal to zero. In this case, that's a very special. In this case, we can reduce to the lead border atoms in cavity to the DIT model. You know, DIT model is a uh, very famous model in the quantum optics. In this model, we can just include the cavity energy and the atom uh, energy of two level, two level, and uh, the coupling between the cavity and the atoms and atoms. 
In this case, you know, they are uh, uh, salary. This, this salary, it's uh, no launch salary. In this case, we cannot apply the no launch, uh, no, no go non go salary, and uh, in this case, we can find the super radiator phase, super radiator phase. Uh, in the some experiment, uh, it's not really the lead border atoms in cavity, it's just the, the two level uh, uh, atoms in cavity and uh, the super, super radiate uh, phase is observed in the experiment. In this experiment, you know, I remember the Professor Paul's group. You know, here is just a consider the two level atoms that are trapped in the cavity, and the cavity with the decay, decay. Uh, in this experiment, uh, we can measure the subterraneous emission and the two qubit super radiate, super radiate. Of course, uh, we can find the super radiator phase in the other system in the quantum optics. The second phase is uh, lead border solid states. In this case, we did not consider the coupling between the atoms and the cavity. cavity. We just consider the lead border atoms trap in the optic lattice. In this case, uh, we want to consider the kinetic, uh, uh, the cavity kinetic energy and the atom atom energy and the atom atom integration. integration. You know, this is a solid state. It's solid states. Just the lead border atoms trap in the optic lattice. In the optic lattice. In this case, we can get the three different phase, three different. We can chain, we can turn the chemical partition mu, get the uh, three uh, lead border solid. First uh, solid is, is if mu is small delta, it means it's one atoms trapped in the ground states. This is lead border solid zero states. Second states is half atoms excited to the lead border states, half stays the ground states. In this case, it's a solid half. The third, it's, uh, the third is we can, we can turn the mu uh, larger to V. V, you know, the atom, atom integration parameter. In this case, the one atoms excited to the Lead border states, lead border states. This is a solid one, solid one states, solid one states. Finally, we want combination the super radiator phase and uh, the lead border solid states. This is the new state states. You know, for the uh, super radiator phase, it comes from the atom cavity integration. It's come this integration. This phase, the super radiator phase, is uh, satisfy, you know, they satisfy the U1 symmetry. And for the lead border, solid states, it's come from the atom, atom integration. It's satisfy the uh, translation uh, symmetry, symmetry. It's block the translation block, you know. Uh, for the super radiate phase, this phase is non region phase, non region phase. Another is uh, still the translation uh, symmetry. What's the U1 symmetry? U1 symmetry is just uh, the rotation symmetry. Any physicist system is uh, keep his symmetry under any uh, any transition, any transition. If we, if we want to change uh, the U1 symmetry, we can plus the, some, it's, uh, for example, soap, soap. We can change the rotation. And uh, the second transition, it's uh, uh, 
Translation Cemetery. Translation Cemetery, you know, it's the, it means it's the invalidation of system and any translation. For the one details, for the one details, this is X, Y, and uh, we just moving the A. After this translation, uh, you know, the uh, X and the Y uh, still keep his original properties. For the 2D, you know, here is uh, A. And uh, after uh, we use the transition symmetry uh, transformation, we still keep the A uh, adds plus T. Any uh, the evolution of time, this system still uh, keep his uh, symmetry and the properties. properties. Now, uh, we want a combination, super right interface and the lead border, solid face, and get the new face, super right solid. Super. This face, you know, comes from the uh, non local atom and the cavity intention. And, uh, you know, uh, the lead border, the lead border, the lead border. Uh, atom atom integration is non region integration, non region integration, and uh, uh, you know we uh, should they make two symmetry blocking. One is U one symmetry blocking. Second is translation symmetry blocking. Keep the total uh, symmetry blocking properties of the super radiator face and the lead border, solid uh, face, lead border, solid face. Uh, this is total Hamilton. It includes the cavity energy, atom, kinetic energy, and the coupling and the interaction between the atoms and uh, the total excitation. How to transform uh, this new face, super radiate solid? We, uh, firstly, we can choose the evaluation ground states wave function. We choose this wave function. The zero is v term states, and uh, lambda is parameter uh, to the cavity. The theta is uh, uh, for the atom, atom uh, field parameter. You know, we consider the two level system, we can choose the two sub lattice, two sub lattice. And then we can get the energy uh, density, energy density. This density, you know, include uh, the, it's, de it's dependent on the coupling between the cavity and the cavity parameter lambda and the turning parameter delta and the uh, atom, atom, interaction V, interaction V. If we just uh, uh, consider the coupling, you know, here we can get the condensation of the pondolate. Uh, this, the interaction uh, parameter V, where that is the uh, state, state, state order, state order of pondolator. pondolator. Here is a phase diagram. Phase diagram. Mu is the chemical potassium, and the G, G is the coupling parameter between the atoms and the cavity. And uh, the figure A, B, C, D, it's just a change the total turning delta. You know, for the delta equal to three, we can find the uh, the four. Uh, five phase, five phase. You know, when coupling is weak, it means it's G, it's very small. We can find we can find the lead border solid states. You know, this is G. When G is very weak, you can we can get the lead border solid. It's a solid one, solid half, and a solid zero. 
when we increase the troubling, and uh, we can get the super radiate phase, super radiate phase. In the middle region, between the super radiate phase and the uh, solid half, we can get the new, we can get the new phase. This is the super radiate solid phase. Of course, if we change the delta, delta is total 30, change this one and uh, we can change his uh, region, maybe enlarged, maybe smaller, we can uh, change uh, this region of super radiate, super radiate. You know, usually we can use uh, the parameter it means it's uh, average atom number between the two levels. Describe the super, the super uh, radiate phase. And uh, if we choose the G equal, uh, it's about uh, uh, the V. It means it's the coupling parameter. It's about the equal to the parameter between the atoms, atoms in the adhesion parameter. In this case, we can get the new phase. This is a super radiate phase, super radiate phase. Uh, you know, we want to plus the new parameter describe the super radiate phase. This is a, a excitation density law, excitation law. CD means, is, you know, we consider the two level atoms, two level atoms. Uh, this is a parameter. You know, for the solid zero phase, this is very special and uh, half and one. For the uh, super radiate, we just keep one parameter, describe uh, the super radiate. If we consider the super radiate solid, we want to choose the different parameter, you know, theta one and theta two, it's a different, it's different. You know, the theta describe uh, the atom, atom interaction. The lambda describe the uh, atom cavity interaction, interaction. Uh, here, we want to define the average excitation density, uh, structure factor, and uh, compressibility, compressibility. Then we calculate his uh, new phase, new phase. You know, uh, we use the two different methods to get the new result. First uh, is uh, valuation. Uh, calculation. Second is the quantum Monte Carlo. Uh, you know, in the quantum Monte Carlo method, we want to consider the quantum flight equation. We can find it's a difference uh, boundary. You know, the quantum Monte Carlo result, it's, uh, you know, they reduce, they reduce the solid phase, the solid phase. So the phase, and the answer is reduce the super radiate phase. This is the density, you know, the density uh, figure shows us the super radiate exists big region from the, uh, uh, about the zero to the one point, that's one point one, one point one. In this uh, region, we can find the density here. It's, uh, we can find the critical point. This means it's super radiate, super hard, solid, uh, solid, uh, little about solid half, and the super radiate solid. This is critical point. We got the eight. Uh, here we can find the another, another region is phase separate between the uh, super, uh, the solid half and uh, the super radiate. And then we can transform the super radiate solid to the super uh, radiate transition, phase transition is first order. Here, 
we choose the two parameter. One is, you know, the structure factor. Second is the average number of items. Uh, here is, uh, we want to consider uh, the super radiator solid phase is stable in the some region, yeah, some region. Here, we want to consider for the, uh, we want to consider the, the uh, structure factor and, and the chemical transportation, you know, here is the structure factor. When we change uh, the total turning, we just change the right, the right region. The left region is trans, it's, it's not changed. It's not depend on the total turning. And uh, this this dash name is uh, uh, compatible. Compatible. The, uh, the bright line and bright dash line and the light dash line you can find, we will change the total turning, just change the left region, is not the uh, right region, is not left region. Uh, how to conform uh, the super radiator phase, super solid, uh, no, no, uh, lead board solid and super uh, radiator, you know, in in this region, his uh, uh, structure factor is about this zero, and uh, the complete stable tapa is finite. This is uh, super radiator. And uh, in this region, it's, uh, uh, in fact, the structure factor is finite, and uh, the complete stable is equal to zero in this region it's leadboard solid. In the middle region, middle region means the structure factor and the complete stable total two parameter triple the finite, triple the finite. This is new phase, super radiated solid, super radiated solid. This is density, density. Here is the, the some analysis. Yeah, we were did not, uh, you know, uh, the super radiate uh, solid phase is come from the certain uh, certain older en energy, certain older energy, and uh, from the certain en older energy analysis, we can find uh, the particle excitation super radiate phase is harder to form than the uh, you know the whole excited. It said it. Then we can use uh, this figure. Uh, Fed is robust uh, of the super radiator phase. You know, this is one over N. Where N is infinite, uh, it's take in infinite, infinite. And uh, in here, you know, the structure uh, factor and the complete saber. Uh, parameter is keep in keep the finite. It's uh, show us uh, the super radiator phase is robust, robust. Mm. Uh, how to uh, observe and how to realize this uh, super radiator solid in the real experiment? We can choose, for example, for the cavity, we can choose this parameter, and uh, for the 1D lattice of total atom, for example, we can choose the rubidium 18.7. And uh, for the rubidium 18.7, we can choose 5 as half its ground states, and the edematic states, we can choose the 5 P, uh, 5 3 over 2. And then we can choose the lead border in the solid states is NS, one over half, and we can take the 34. Then we can choose the turning parameter, and uh, the, this is uh, YB fluid phase, and the jet, uh, the infrared TV coupling parameter, and the Van der Waals co-offshoot, 
and the next level into addition. Then we can turn uh, uh, the total turning parameter over the atom atom into addition, and uh, we can uh, change his parameter, his troubling parameter, uh, get the you know the super uh, radiate phase, and uh, then we can. Uh, we can get the density and the troubling parameter and uh, get the uh, lead border, uh, so lead border solid, zero, half, and one system. And then we can get the super radiate solid. Uh, in this work, we transcend the lead border atoms in a cavity. In this system, we can start the super radiate phase, lead border solid states, and the super radiate solid. Solid. The super radiate solid come from uh, the computation between the non-local atom interaction coupling and the atom atom interaction. You know the the half uh, the the both the solid half. And uh, the soap radiate solid and the soap radiate first transition in first order. And uh, finally, we can find the whole excited soap radiate solid phase is more stable than the particle excited states. Thanks. Okay, thank you very much. I think we can accept maybe one quick question. Cannot no see question. anything at the moment. No question. It's very hard to see. Is this someone pointing? No. Okay. <coughs> uh, we. Mm. This is a nice talk. So may I ask you two questions? One is uh, why you so called uh, this is a uh, separating solid. Because uh, uh, in that, uh, where is the superadient? Uh, mm. So this is the first question. Mm. So, and the uh, second question is, in your Hamilton uh, mm. equation, mm. so there should be, there is some uh, tunneling and uh, also uh, the trap. So you, you, you use steady wave trap. So mm. where, uh, mm. uh, in, in this term, so uh, there is, a, you say, a steady wave. So I'm not sure, cannot see where the, this uh, stating wave uh, trap function. Mm -hmm. So uh, two questions. Okay, okay. Uh, first question is, uh, you know, the, uh, we transcend the lead border atoms in the cavity. Uh, we can, firstly, we can get uh, the uh, super radiate phase. This phase comes from the atom and the cavity interaction. Then we can get the uh, lead border solid states. These states come from the atom, atom interaction. In the middle region, in the middle region, uh, we can get the new phase. Its phase, its uh, keep the super radiate and uh, keep the lead border solid. Uh, you know, uh, he wanted to keep the two symmetry blotting. One, one uh, first is uh, U1 symmetry blotting. Uh, second, it's uh, translation symmetry blotting. This is a super radiate uh, solid phase, solid phase. Yes, but uh, why mm. you say this is a super radiant? Uh, because yeah. this super radiant, there is a super uh, like a couple, yeah. a couple uh, <clears throat> uh, there are atoms, many atoms that are cooperated uh, uh, spontaneous, so we saw that this is a uh, uh, superadient. But uh, in your case, uh, why you say this is a superadient? It's, it's uh, super radiate, it's not a super, uh, super fluid. It's not a super fluid, super radiate. Yeah, super it's, uh, you know, here it's uh, the some lead about atoms. It's about the half lead about atoms. It decided to, uh, it decided states. It's half, it's about a half. Uh, this is one case. 
synthesizes atoms uh, and uh, coupling the cavity that is a super uh, radiate. And uh, in this case, we can find the uh, super radiate solid. Okay, thank you. It's a combination, combination. It's a triple, the uh, solid phase, it's a triple super radiate phase. It uh, exists uh, uh, the middle, the middle, the middle region. It's not a very strong coupling, it's not a very uh, weak coupling. It's a middle, the middle coupling parameter. The second question is, the you know, the, yeah, yeah, yeah the, the tunneling. The tunneling, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, the tunneling is very interesting, but uh, here we do not consider the tunneling uh, between the different uh, wire, different uh, atoms of uh, atoms, different uh, wire, different wire, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. thank you. Thank I you. think we should move on. So let's thank uh, Wu Ming again. Mm. Okay, thanks. <coughs> So the next talk will be given by Anna Maria Ray from Jilla NIST and the University of Colorado on quantum spin dynamics, coherences, and entanglement in trapped ion arrays. So let's welcome Anna Marie to the stage. <laughs>